my name is Shahid Bashir in this video I will tell you about the research methods so this can either be quantitative or qualitative so in my case the first thing I need to define is how quantitative or qualitative approach are dissimilar to each other and then eventually I need to decide which method I am using particularly for my research and there of course must have to be some strong reasons behind it so in this section we will define first of all the difference between qualitative and quantitative okay the choice between these two methodologies depend upon their suitability in answering particular research questions okay so is there any other aspect other than their dissimilarity yes it should be noted that quantitative and qualitative methods should not be placed to compete against one another so it is a sound principle of marketing research to view qualitative and quantitative research as a complementary rather than in competition with each other so in other words quantitative and qualitative approaches can be useful to triangulate each other so there is a strong argument that they cannot be used in the form of competition so however there is a difference between both of the methods for example quantitative research suits finding that are not subject to sorry qualitative research suits findings that are not subject to quantitative or quantification or quantitative analysis it is best for answering questions related to social development as well as cultural phenomena and then blah 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 some of the most frequently used quant qualitative techniques are observation interview ethnography group discussion and document analysis okay contrary to quantitative sorry quant contrary to quantitative research several ad advantages of qualitative approach can be pointed out okay then this is blah 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 so now on the other hand qualitative research is useful for deriving statistical meaning using mathematical variables so this is blah 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 now okay here's the main difference that is research can be summarized in eight aspect adopted from okay these these researchers so okay these are the main differences so it tells you that quantitative research or qualitative research can be completely different to one another although they are not competing with each other but they are though different to each other so in my case why I am using the quantitative research method so altogether based on suitability of the research nature quantitative research was to be chosen as a best fit for this study okay another reason is that since many researchers in the existing literature employ quantitative research applying the same methodology will therefore allow comparisons with the results of other studies within the same context for example any of those researchers they did found the relationship between any of the component of perceived risk and the purchase intention and such study was based on quantitative analysis so 
this gives us an opportunity to compare our results with that particular study in the same context so i hope so this is as precise as possible so one last time i will tell you so defining your research methods you need to follow first what is the difference between quantitative or qualitative research and come up with a strong justification and secondly why you are using quantitative or qualitative research for your study so this should be based on comparison with the previous studies in the literature or the best fit for the particular research thank you so much